Welcome to Redbit Tech and today we're going to be looking at creating your own website using WordPress. So you may ask why WordPress? Well, it's one of the most widely used and supported platforms in the world. It offers near out of the box integrations in terms of payment gateways, payment platforms. And you know, as we go digital and take our businesses online, that's becoming more and more important. And did I mention you don't necessarily need to know how to code in order to get yourself up and running. <laughs> So before we get into WordPress and all the things you're going to need to get yourself up and running, there are two things you're going to need to purchase, your domain name and web hosting. And your hosting is where all your website files are stored, so the actual code for your website, images, videos, any documents, etc. And you can think of your domain as the actual address to your website. So if your web hosting is where your actual files are stored, or let's say where your files lives, your domain actually points your web browser to the correct location, so when you go to our website, it returns the correct information. And since since every domain has to be unique, you need to do a search to make sure it isn't taken. It's kind of similar to your email address or your social media username. Now there are a number of services you can use to either purchase your domain or web hosting with GoDaddy and Bluehost being the most popular ones and I'll link to them below in the description. So let's get into it. So once you purchase your domain and hosting, the next step will be to get an actual install of WordPress. And most hosting providers either do this for you automatically or provide you with a simple one-click process. And in this example, we're looking at Bluehost's one-click option. So you select your domain, enter your username and password, and some other basic information about your website, and then you click to install. So once that's complete, you can now log into your WordPress admin dashboard. And this is more or less where you'll come to customize and edit your website. So from adding themes, plugins, creating pages, updating your menus, and so on. So the next step would actually be finding a suitable theme or template for your website. And my go-to website for templates is Theme Forest. You can select from the various categories or do a specific search for the type of theme you're looking for. For this example, I'll be using a theme that I already purchased. The theme is usually in the form of a zip file, so you'll download it and unzip. Now, there are usually some other files with documentation and licenses, but what you're looking for is a theme folder. You'll then see another zip file, usually the name of the theme, and in my case, it's consultio.zip. Next, you're going to click on Themes under the Appearance section and select the Upload Theme option and navigate to the location of the consultio.zip file that we just mentioned. Upload the file and install. You can then proceed to activate the theme. Once the theme is activated, it may require you to install and activate some additional plugins. So let's do that. Each theme usually comes with demo content which more or less shows you what the website should look like with all the features. Here's what the consult your theme should look like. So let's install the demo content to our website. To do this, we'll navigate to consult you, then import demo. Most themes have similar one-click installs for their demo content. So once that's complete, let's navigate to the website to see if the import was actually successful. Okay, so everything looks fine. So let's actually edit this page. And the name of the page builder on this theme is called Elementor, which for me is one of the best page builders on WordPress. So when you're purchasing your theme, make sure it's built with Elementor. So at the top of each page, there's an option called Edit with Elementor. And this is going to give you a no-code editor that is going to allow you to easily edit your content. So you can edit your text, update color schemes, move around different components, or add or remove images and documents. They just make it really simple to edit and update your website. So once you're finished editing, you can hit the update button and the changes should be reflected on your website. Here are some additional areas to take note of. Pages, this is where you add or update your website pages. Menus, this is where you add or update your menu items. And each theme usually has a theme option section where you can customize the core components of your theme, such as your logo, your header, footer, theme colors, or even your typography. So there you have it, a quick guide on how to get your website up and running with WordPress. And if you found this useful, leave a like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thank you.